All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 14 of my WWE 2K19 Universe mode. Pumped out the episodes like iron right now. We've got, like I said, episode 14, 205 live. And uh, we've got four quarterfinal matches for the Cruiserweight Championship match at Backlash, which will most likely, unfortunately, take place on the kickoff. But it'll be, it's, it's the thoughts there, okay? So. Uh, we've got Buddy Murphy defeating Umberto, or not defeating, facing Umberto Carrillo. He hasn't defeated him yet. Umberto might defeat Buddy, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired, I'm not going to lie. Drew Gulak taking on Kalisto in the second quarterfinal. And we've got Chad Gable versus Akira Tozawa. And then the main event is a big one. The main event is a huge, colossal... I know, it's not really, because it's a cruiserweight show, but like it's a massive main event. Cedric Alexander will take on Hideo Itami. So we'll see now if Buddy Murphy will defeat Umberto Carrillo, I don't know. Oh, no. Carrillo put up a good fight last week. And what a lineup on this card. Make sure everything's set up as it should be. Singles action on tap right All right, now. we are good. I'll try to get to this as quick as I can because the, the shows so far this week have been insanely long. Raw was 2 hours and 21, SmackDown was an hour 55, and I'm pretty sure NXT was an hour 43, so long ass shows this week. And tomorrow we've got the uh, an episode of NXT UK and then the final show before Backlash of Raw, so big episodes. Let's see if I can get them both done. I might just do one to be honest. Possibly, I don't know. Reason it's taking so long to load, by the way. Um anyone new to this? They're custom wrestlers, both of them, so it's gonna take a little while. Going into it anyway. The best kept secret opening 205 Live here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way here comes to the Buddy Murphy. From Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 204 pounds. Buddy Murphy. I have in my notes here who he defeated. If I just find them. Buddy Murphy defeating TJP to advance the quarterfinals of this Cruiserweight Championship tournament. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And yeah, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. It could have been the main event, except the main event is Hideo and Cedric, and that I feel like they deserve top billing, to be honest. I feel like that can't open a show. That has to be a main event of a 205 Live. I'm sure anyone watching this would agree. Out of four matches, Cedric and Hideo deserved top billing. But Buddy Murphy must have proved why he could be Cruiserweight Champion. And if he gets past Umberto Carrillo, he's one step closer. He'll be in the semi finals. Here comes Carrillo. And his opponent. I'll get the notes up again. Umberto Carrillo. Who did he defeat? He defeated Aria Davari to advance to the finals. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you, or quarterfinals, I should say. Waiting all day to get their hands on each other. This warm weather is making me tired quicker. <laughs> Buddy Murphy 
And Barca Carrillo opening to a five live. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't test the strength in 205 Live. I just be ready for anything. Sometimes Nothing that happens. That's all you can do. Murphy fighting now. A buddy Murphy, I probably would say, is the more powerful of these two. Oh boy. That number power oh, bomb. bomb. Not done yet. Hold on. He thought it'd be a power bomb, just juggling him around. I was trying to do a move, but it didn't register, I guess. Now Murphy. Blocking the drop kick. Bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. Buddy Murphy in complete control of Korea, or he was before the back elbow. Drop down. Drop down. And Murphy with the power. It could be a suplex. And it is a suplex. And Buddy Murphy's not your typical cruiserweight. But you needed a chance somewhere. And. I guess sure this 205 I was a, for the just yet, Cole. a lifeline, we'll call it. To be in good shape here. The good news for him is that he oh, it's a belly reverse by Umberto Carrillo. To this point, but that can obviously all change here. Carrillo, right on the forearm. Here's the cover. Cover and a kick out. Right on top of the I don't offend people by getting Korea's country wrong, but I don't know what country's from, so I'm not going to say anything. I want to say Mexico, but he's probably not Mexican. I don't want to offend people by not knowing, so... Anyway, Korea taunting Murphy here. Just stomping Buddy Murphy. And a boot. Buddy Murphy's just took a play stomping game. Suplex blocked by Murphy, uh -oh. or by Carrillo uh -oh. from Murphy. Fred Frankensteiner. Murphy with the right. Take down and kick to the back. Carrillo in trouble here. You gotta believe this one's over. Buddy Murphy exploder suplex. suplex. Oh boy. That number power bomb. Power bomb number one. Power bomb number two. And power bomb three. Buddy Murphy. Power bomb and Carrillo. Three times and now called him up. Don't you Korea could even man. get up. Oh, Double knees. Back. Wait, Korea's got a finisher. Hold on. I even notice. Oh, wanker. I think we know oh, fuck. Korea wants that Chris Awake title. Oh, they need to see. On the apron. That might Here we finish. Go. Take a look at this again. Buddy yeah, Murphy. Nice. Planting Murphy there. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. He's dropping on the apron. This is an aggressive side of Carrillo here. Oh boy, he is Reversed by Murphy. Fireman's carry takeover. And Murphy could show his aggressive side. Brain buster on the outside. Now that's what I call making a statement. And that could be all. He Never mind. The outside. Oh no. Very DZ by Korea. He's looking to fight back in this match. 
He might, oh, close line. Oh, God, it worked in the chest. This is all but over. Oh, See, my comeback strategy doesn't always work, but some of the time it does. Basically, you uh, try and defend it instead of wasting a reversal. An arm bar now by Carrillo, who's absolutely not working Buddy Murphy's arms at all. So, an easy uh, escape. I think I explained how you do it on the Raw episode, so if you want to go back and watch that and find it, I guess. I can't remember when exactly I said it. Korea electric chair. He's going for it all. Top rope now. Goes Bertie. He's not going to like this. Calling Buddy Murphy to his feet. He's looking at it. He misses the Missile dive. drop kick avoided by Murphy. And now the electric chair by Murphy as well. Giving a bit of payback there. Tip for tap between Murphy and Carrillo here. Murphy just stomping Umberto. Here we go again. Not another brain buster. Indeed it is. Buddy Murphy on the drop kick. And an egg breaker. Just lining it up. Korea on the receiving end, some Buddy Murphy punishment here. Oh, is he swinging Netbreaker off the ropes? Yes, he is. And now he's gotten Berto again. In the corner this time. Uh oh. Berto could be in trouble. Oh, he fights out though. Dodges a bullet there. Buddy Murphy turning around Carrillo in the corner now. Comes up big with a reversal. Roberto Carrillo reverses again. Randolph misses. And now Murphy. Biding his time here. Tell Roberto, this is my 205 life. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. This is Into the ropes again. The He's not going to go Reversal no, by Umberto Carrillo. Ever does. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Murphy catches Carrillo. Superplex or suplex, I guess, from the apron. Murphy looking for the adoration of the 205 Live Faithful here. Back in from the floor. Three Back count. Buddy Murphy's got Carrillo against the ropes again, and this time he won't be denied. Buddy Murphy sending Umberto Carrillo to the outside. Murphy lining out. Suicide dive right on the head of Carrillo. He might have it. Smart move by the best kept secret. Bringing it back into the ring. He's trying to buy this time now. He's calling for it. Calling up Carrillo. Third brain buster, perhaps. Oh, here we go. I think that'll finish Carrillo. But I don't know how much gas Buddy Murphy. Left, guys. Oh, he's lining up. Not for that, not for a pin. Here but for goes. Murphy's law. And a Murphy's law for. connects and a cover off of it. Buddy Murphy. I predicted it true. At the start of the show by accident. Buddy Murphy defeats Umberto Carrillo. Advances Sometimes a match to the semi finals. Sure These superstars gave as good as 
they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up Flashy match from both men, but in the end it was Murphy's Law that kept down Umberto Carrillo. Here is your winner, Buddy Big Murphy. fight and by Carrillo. The night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, Tried to hit his big moves, but it wasn't enough. And uh, Murphy, after a, a plethora of brain busters, will say three in total. And Murphy's Law won the match and advances to the semi finals. And whoever faces him, I feel bad for. And up next, let me check my match list. We've got Chad Gable. I think we've got either Chad Gable and Akira Tozawa. I drew Gulak and Kalisto. I can't remember what order I put it in. Okay, before we get into this match, I'd like to completely apologise because I haven't done an episode more, uh, for Universe more than like three days. But I have a def sort of defence. On two days ago, I was trying to do an episode and my stream thing wasn't working properly, so I couldn't do it. And yesterday I just was having too much fun playing as my friends, so I got kind of an excuse. But anyway, we're going to finish this episode, get up today, also hopefully do NXT UK, but I don't know. I think maybe I should should start, uh, maybe it's too late for me to start this and maybe I should just not bother, but I kind of want to do it at the same time. So I'm kind of not sure what, what I should do. But anyway, here comes Drew Gulak. For quarterfinal match. So so far we've seen Buddy Murphy defeat Kalisto. Not Kalisto. Who did he defeat? Carrillo. Drew Gulak's against Kalisto. Will Drew Gulak win for better 205 Live? I will the only man who's still in with a mask continue on into the semi finals. Here comes Kalisto. I oh, just show the trouble lead. No, they didn't try to hide it. Well, he still looks ready, but he's got to overcome the man who wants a better 205 live. Kalisto winning the power elbow. Go like pushing Kalisto off. And if it's uh, also if I sound tired, it's so just woke up. So yeah. I'll try to get this before I go. I'll try to get this done before I go out. Try to go out in uh, about an hour and a half. I'll only get the matches done before I go. But it's about an hour twenty. Jawbreaker by Kalisto. I might need to sneeze, hold on. Over and over. I did need to sneeze. There might be a few mic mutes today. Kalisto continuing the punishment on Gulak. Power early on. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Pick up my Gulak and a back elbow. Wow. Uh oh, look at this. Oh, and this could turn on the match. Exploder suplex. Gulak, big move. And Gulak. Gory special. 
Thank you, Super Special. Anyway, police are able to arm drag out. And he escapes the submission. And good thing that could have been disastrous. Sliding clothesline blocked by Kalise, uh, blocked by Gulak, sorry, with a shoulder tackle and a clothesline to the back of the head. It's getting bad for Kalisto here. Could go from bad to worse. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Drew Gulak's going to fly from the second so rope. Right that it's almost okay. Impossible to that, take a win. Yeah. I guess we'll just have to settle in. Kalisto avoids and a kick to knock Gulak down. Russell by good luck. Kick to the abdomen. And. Ooh. Slamming him and then shoving the knee in the back. And Drew Gulak has slowed down this match to his pace. Not allowing police to dictate the pace, which is smart, because the pace would be fairly fast if police was allowed to dictate it. Kitchen sink. Knees to the back, locking the arms across the neck of Kalisto, and well, technically it's a headlock, I guess. You shouldn't look with Kalisto's on arms. Smart move by Gulak. Kalisto is showing a lot of heart here, but how can he to break out though? I'm dragging Gulak out of the move. Larry. By Gulak, the by Eddie's classic WCW Cruiserweight matches. So, winning that title was the ultimate homage to the fellow Mexican wrestling legend. A quick reversal by Kalisto. Lightning fast. Kalisto now back in control of the arm. <laughs> Not where you want to be for Drew Gulak. Okay, well, I got told. Drew Gulak close line to the outside, and Kalisto's looking to continue the punishment. Kick to the gut. Kalisto's been behind on the tail of the tape, but he's persevered thanks to his incredible lucha fighting spirit. Jawbreaker. Now Kalisto. You control the luck all the table. Beating so far, but nothing that can't be overcome. Man, look at five count. Oh, six by the ref. Gulak doesn't want to lose. Roman Rhino and Apollo all learned that a larger opponent is just a bigger target for Kalisto to aim at. Those are all in the past. I think Kalisto started to get scared. That's why he went to fight. Here he goes. Oh, Fox leaded us all. And somehow Gulak fighting out. To keep him down. Police still working on the leg. Oh, goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. I come back but decided not to go for it. Interesting player. Turn Gulak to the ropes. And thrust at the ropes back into the neck. Cover. He could do it here. Gulag with a kick yeah, out. Hurt, guys. Oh boy, he is rolling. Police just think he wants to get to take his hits home run shot, and it didn't work. So, I'm just thinking, what to do here? What could he do? Right Working the arms again. Or we can the impact. Well, what we can impact? Well, impact so it's not really an impactful move, but like we can. Uh, the Gulag should Gulag get it in. Boston Crab by Kalisto. Good luck, try to fight out. He and he powers out. Man, he just has so much resolve. Kalisto was just one step behind. He might have it. Are you kidding me? Now single leg Boston Crab. Kalisto shows some quickness. Beautiful. Kalisto really working on that body. First off, not for this leader. They'll slow once again, possibly. First one didn't work. He breaks out. He's not done just yet. Again, good luck, fighting out. Watch out here. Arm trap, scoop slam. Police still rolls out. Now back in comes Kalisto. Kalisto, Kalisto, Listo kick. 
This one is over. Now that was an impressive series of moves. His shoulders are down. Oh, a quick kick out by Gulak. Somehow Gulak fighting out of the least kick. Okay. Props to Gulak for that. He's calling for it. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. So later that's all reversed by Drew Gulak. Now stomp to police though. This is it. Here we go. Cross face now by Gulak. We keep the masked man down. Got to try to work more on the head than he has been most of this he match. His way free. He's gotta be working on instinct right now, Cole. Police are running straight to Gulak who slams him. And going back to work on the head. This is what Gulak needs to be doing now, getting into his stride. Just stomping away. Smart move by Gulak. Again, another headlock. The police are powering out. And the Arm once again. They just seem to be able to counter each other at any given time. Gulak fights up. Right hand. Uppercut by Gulak. Police reverses. Gulak. Take down. And the police reverses into EDT. Lot of secrets by both men. And now cover off the DDT. And nearly did the job, but Gulak able to fight out. This match has been, for Gulak especially, fast paced. Please try working all areas of the body. Gulak just taking a breather here. Wait a minute. Back in from the floor. Kalisto just took a drop kick without falling over. Kalisto and now he's going to get the least kick right again. What just you can't what teach that type happened? Of I'm so confused. It's not like he's a super heavyweight or anything. He just straight up decided, hey, I'm going to no sell a drop kick. And well, no, he's in control again. Drew Gulak in trouble now. Hands of Kalisto. Leg drop over the ropes. Top rope goes Kalisto. Splash, knees up by Gulak. He knows he's in trouble. He kept up and I just stayed down for longer. And now Salida Del Sol. What is going on? And Kalisto is going to advance to the semi finals in one of the. I don't. Okay, whatever. Kalisto advances to semi finals. That was a weird match. Now, what I don't get on the outside. He didn't That's go down from the drop kick. And on the inside, he kept ringside. up with his like, instant recovery thing. Caught me maybe slightly, and I stayed down for a, a lot longer than I should have done. But he did deserve the win, to be honest. The first lead that Sol didn't get a job done, but the second one did. Gulak tried to fight back in. He didn't have any chance to apply that Gulak, because Kalisto was definitely on something tonight. I'm not sure what he was on, but we'll have to take a performance enhancing test. <laughs> Sure oh, in all seriousness, congrats to Kalisto, who enters now the semi finals of the tournament. So, it looks like you'll be facing Buddy Murphy in the next round. Should be a, an interesting class, really. Anyway. I forgot what matches up next, so I'll see you for that in a minute.
We have a great match coming right. up next. Taking on some tough competition. So, so far in the semifinals, Buddy Murphy and Kalisto have qualified. And now we've got Chad Gable and Kira Tozawa going to fight out who will be next in that round. Should be an intriguing match. I can't remember who Gable and Tazawa defeated. Chad Gable defeated Leo Rush. And that's how he's in the quarterfinals here. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds. Chad Gable stated his desire to go back to NXT. But he also said he wanted to go to 205 Live because that's where the most athletic. Well, athletic wrestlers are basically. Olympian, former NXT tag team champion, SmackDown Live tag team champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE. Anyway, he's got a tough challenge here. So exciting to see the power of Tazawa. Will we see the power of Tazawa tonight? Will he? Power his way into the semi finals. From Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one on one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. I'm a big fan of Akira Tozawa, but I have a question for both of you. Whatever happened to Tozawa's relationship? I was looking back at my Is he still a member? uploads. And I was trying to do two of these a day, but at the moment I'm only sticking to one a day, so who knows when this uh, series could end. I'm not going to switch across to 2K19 until I've done, uh, sorry, 2K20, until I've got to WrestleMania on 2K19. Anyway, Chad Gable powering Tazawa back into the corner and a clean break. Oh no, not a clean break, Tazawa. Good cheap shot in. I mean, you don't really usually see that from Tozawa, but I guess he really wants the Cruiserweight title once again. And that's just annoyed Gable now. And now, a little tie-up. Tozawa backing up Gable against the ropes. And Gable now getting a bit of revenge. Tozawa reversing. Oh, a big kick. Gable and arm drag out of the situation. Kicks out Tazawa by the arm. Setting up. No suplex. Right hand blocked by Tazawa into an arm drag. Or take over and face first goes Gable and now Tozawa. This could be his opening. Stretching out the arm and slung it to the mat. Cover by Tozawa. And kick out by former American Alpha Man. Drop kick to the back by Tozawa. So Tries to take control, but Gable able to fight back with a knee. This is the type of one on one atmosphere where he thrives. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. German suplex. Elbows blocked by Tozawa, I think. Yeah, right hand. Face first again. Goes Gable. This time doesn't stay down, kick it out of the move. Now Gable's feeding off the 205 Live crowd here. I think 205 Live have to see some new blood in Gable as well as the old blood in Tozawa. But it's not from snap suplex by Gable. Second rope, Sanson. Gable said it could be done here. Northern Lights, suplex. Ropes, safe to Zawa. 
think it would have been too soon for Tozawa to uh, fall to Gable anyway, but you never know in this business. Right hand by Tozawa to fight back in. It's not where to take down. And now stretched out the body with an abdominal stretch. Gable able to fall out quickly. Chad Gable's been wrestling since he was five years old. Gable was a Minnesota no, State I'm drag hit toss, sorry. Good say, actually. There's a small difference States. between the moves. And now Gable locking the arm to Zawa and going for a hold of his uh, wrestle of his own. And he's overpowering to Zawa currently. You would say Gable is the strongest on paper. But Zawa's actually managed to fight out here, rolling out a back elbow. Oh, what another big boot. And Hard to stop them from Tozawa. Right hand blocked by Tozawa. Fibers carry takeover by Gable. In the ropes now is Tozawa. Gable dropping Tozawa. Stun gun. Into the corner now. Oh, you don't see Gable. Well, actually, I don't know how often you see Gable go top. I haven't seen him wrestle in a while. He probably goes top a little bit. But he missed that time with the elbow. So try to make it back into this match now. Oh, beautiful kick. What will we see from Tozawa here? Spinning kick by Tozawa. Could do the job here. Will Gable be able to power out? He's looking for the win. It's going to take more yes. than that to keep his shoulders down. Well, that's I not sure if he can sustain this, but it's sure to be a good Gable backwards out of it and German suplex. How much more does he have left? I don't recall the last time he looked so fatigued. The damage has been done. I'm taking that out of the arm. Try to remember my other signature with Gable. I know one of them, but I don't want to use it. Top rope goes Gable. We know what's coming here. And the moonsault. An incredible moonsault. Just and Gable. So he's not done with Tazawa there. Annoyed at how Tazawa started the match with a cheap shot. Looks like a bit more punishment. Oh, that's a smart move though by Gable. He had match one, he had the Cruiserweight title semi final place in his grasp. But now, what's he doing here? Oh, he's surfboarding Tozawa. Will Kira tap out? The longer this fight goes on, the more. Oh, oh, Gable picks up. Oh, snap German suplex out of nowhere by Akira Tozawa. And Gable fights out. There's no rubble from the match there. It would have cost Gable, and it would have served him right. Gable blocking the cutter and a drop kick blocked by Tozawa. And now the ring goes Chad Gable. What a brutal beating we've seen. Just Forearm by Tazawa sending Gable to the outside. And now I think Tazawa going to do whatever it takes here to get that semi final place. Knew he was beaten by that moonsault. But Gable gave him another chance he shouldn't have done. And now he's going to take advantage of it. Gable chopping back. Back up top again. So we're up. Gable down, cross body. And this time Tazawa does fight out. Gable wasn't letting go of that pin. Back into the, uh, the stretch here. Smart to try and get every last bit of energy out of Tazawa. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Now Gable's got to be looking to finish here. 
looking to try and get into the semi-finals. Kazawa busts Gable open. But Gable fights back up. And he won't be stopped, he won't be denied. Close line. Gable top rope. He's gonna try it again. This, this time maybe he won't let it let it break. Moon salt. Cover. Will he go through? Kazawa fights out. Gable ever since taking that second kick to the head has just been on a tear. Got up straight away. And now finale here. Blocked again by Tazawa. Right hand. Kazawa seems to have Chad Gable scouted at every opportunity here. Cover. And Gable fights out. Looking Gable down. He's fighting back here. Blocked by Gable. Into the corner now. He goes to Sawa. Suplex now. Knee dropped by Tazawa. Will he go for the home run shot? It looks like it. Here we go a second time. Second time with the suplex, but the rope saved Gable. Tazawa now going for a submission. Will Gable be able to fight out near the ropes? He can't quite get to the ropes, so that's the thing. Gable powers out. With a suplex to Tazawa. And you've got to give credit for Gable here sticking in this long. Tazawa, though. Snap suplex. Jawbreaker by Gable. Picks a leg, but Tazawa kicks off him. Kicks him off. Again, Gable with a leg, but Tazawa with a knee. Counter by Gable. Now Gable just teeing off with the right hand. And into the corner goes Tazawa. Gable turning Tazawa around. O'Connor roll. Suplex. And Gable advances to the semi finals. That was a fun match. That might be another one we do on Two or Five Live again. Gable had one up the moonsault. But he let Tazawa back in. And uh, it could have proven to be a mistake if it wasn't for the ropes it would have been a mistake Tazawa was on his game tonight but he couldn't overcome Chad Gable there's good there's great and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action what a match and what a victory for Gable advances now to face either Hideo Itami or Cedric Alexander We'll see after the main event who that will be. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. I feel we like this episode might go slightly match. over an hour depending on the main event. But up next, we will have the main event. Hideo Itami versus Cedric Alexander, like I said. I should have mentioned last week Tizawa beat Canellis, but I forgot. <laughs> anyway, Cedric Alexander defeated... Who did you defeat? I don't remember. Let me get my notes. Cedric Alexander defeated Grand Metalik in a actually a pretty fun main event. And of course, Hideo Itami destroyed Lince Dorado. So, they face each other tonight. Here comes the heart. With two of our live, Cedric Alexander. They call him the heart of two of our live. Wasn't enjoying being on Raw. 
So, what I talk about Still Five Live and um, me being a nice guy, I, am. I let him come back. But to be honest, we're actually using him a bit more in real life, so. And there's always a chance in universe mode of promotions and demotions. Although it's not really a demotion, it's more just a move of brand. I'd, I'd say most most of the brands are on the same sort of level. Obviously 205 Live isn't on the same level because it's only for Cruiserweights, but... Cedric looks prepared. Will he be able to stop Hideo Tami's strikes long enough to win the match? Here he comes now. Obviously not in WWE anymore. Back in New Japan. Actually, I say back in New Japan. I think it's the first time he's been in New Japan. Back in Japan. For New Japan Pro Wrestling. Part of the G1 Climax in real life. But if he's in the game on here, I'm going to use him because I love playing as a Otami. I love a Otami in general. So if I call him Kenta by mistake, I apologise. I did that last week, I'm pretty sure, as well. But Hideo Itami wants that semi final spot. Hideo Itami, no nonsense here. Hideo Itami's what the? I don't think. Oh, the referee needs to get control of this. I go straight up to Cedric, not even finishing his entrance. Cedric is moving around to let Hideo finish his entrance. And now Adeo just cheap shotting Cedric here. Maybe Adeo doesn't feel he can beat Cedric in a fair match. Into the steps goes Alexander. Now it's a barricade. And Adeo. Get another advantage here. Cedric try to fight back here with an arm drag. Right hand blocked by Atami. Who plants Cedric DDT? Cedric still continues to try fight back in a knee by Alexander. This is just turned to a brawl now. Suplex on the outside by Cedric. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. With these two guys, we all knew this. Our time is trying to create space now. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging. Time to in the ring for Alexander. He wants to avoid it. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he's still. Pre-match attack by Hideo and Tami. Cedric fought back a little bit, but totally total has to be on Cedric Alexander's body and head early on. Oh, Hideo might take on Cedric like a man, but Hideo had to get a cheap shot in. Hideo kicking out Cedric Alexander's attempt to pin there. Off the ropes. Drop down. Arm drag. Now strikes. Here we go. Hideo. One of the best strikers dropping Cedric on the ropes. I was methodically waiting for Cedric to get up. Not what I did. This is not what I did. Okay, fair enough. Cedric knocking a day back to the outside again, and these two are going to brawl. No, not a day fights out. Hurricane Rana. Oh, face first. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. And Hideo was in by count out. So Cedric's going to try to win by count out as well here. Four count by the ref. Oh, too close to the ropes for Cedric there. Rookie move against Hideo Tami and a drop kick. Hideo looking to continue the punishment. Can you believe this? I love it. Hockey kick to the head. He doesn't want to absorb much more 
punishment if he wants to win this match. Oh, roundhouse. Thank you, UK Assassin, for the follow. Mateo Tammy just continuing the punishment on Cedric. That little kick seems to do a lot of damage. A knee to the head. And Cedric needs to fight back here before it's too late. Blocking the kick. Hideo. Kick to the knee, lock in the arms, suplex. Hey, you're gonna absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. But there was another knee. That concern at this point. This isn't his first rodeo. He had to expect to take on some offense here tonight. Knee to the back by Hideo. And set him up. Beautiful technique. And since Hideo took control, it's just been non-stop punishment. Hideo blocking the corner kick. Swinging net breaker. And now Cedric trying to fight back in this match. Alexander's looking at it. Off the ropes now. Drop down. Leapfrog. And a running knee. Out of nowhere catches Alexander. Alexander fighting out. They're looking for the strikes in the corner. And their time blocking the right hand. Oh no. Out of nowhere. GTS connects. And Alexander is out for the count here. That will send the day of through to the semi finals. Free match attack really helped there. What? Unbelievable. Somehow Cedric stays in this. Cedric Alexander just kicked out of the go to sleep. And Hideo's gonna be even more mad than he was before. Not many people kick out of the go to sleep and live to talk about it. Cedric sitting out on the leg. That's wrenching. But how is Cedric still in this match? He should have been out for the counter for the GTS. Into the corner now goes Atami. Oh, Cedric face first into a time buckle. And Atami, we're going to catch him with another kick. Step up in Zaguri. Every time. Cedric tries to find momentum to get back in this match. Hideo always has the counter. Suplex blocked by Alexander. Alexander, snap mare takedown. I don't see as much in the cruiser hit 25 11 minute event, but. Headlock blocked by Tommy and fought out. Butterfly suplex. And here we go again. Oh, stomped. I thought he was going to go for that kick that he goes for, but now Cedric Alexander bleeding. Hideo going for a roll up. Cedric fights out. Knee straight to the head. The heart two five live. Pretty sure I believe I think Cedric's the heart and Mustafa Ali's the soul. I'm trying to remember. Regardless, Hideo's got Cedric in a precarious position inside the top rope here. Falcon arrow. I thought it was going to be a suplex. I was about to call it suplex. It was a fucking arrow. Back with the stomps. Now the neck crank. That doesn't help the head. Turning Cedric around. Hooking the arms again. Another suplex. Tiger suplex. I believe it's called. 
I heard the commentator say it, so I'm saying it's Tiger's reflex, so if it's wrong, I blame the commentator. Into the corner now goes Cedric. And the kicks in the corner by Ale uh, by Tammy to Alexander. And now Hideo's lining up. Hesitation drop kick. How much more can Alexander take the pre-match attack and all the punishment that Hideo's delivered within the match? He's calling for it. He's calling for it again. Hideo Itami. It might be cliche, but it's, it's blocked by Alexander. Lombard check blocked by Hideo. Alexander picking the leg. Looks like a knee bar no by Cedric Alexander. And the day might be out. Right hand by Itami. And some more right hands now. No striking barrage you won't be on the receiving end of. No Deo. Off the ropes. And the knee again. And this time Hideo. I don't think he wants to make any mistakes here. He can't withstand one bit. A second. Go to sleep. He's not going for the cover. What? Oh, I think he was going for a final one to put a nail in the coffin and it hasn't worked here. Cedric countering. I was trying to do two just to make sure Cedric could stay down, but somehow Cedric able to counter a second. The rope thrust into the time is rope, obviously. No, Tommy. He's been dead weight, but how is Cedric still in this? He just took another go to sleep and then managed to... I don't know how he's reversed that one. Being quite honest, Tiger suplex again. Both men down, although uh, Cedric isn't. Thank you, a gay average for the 100 sparks. Head scissored by Cedric now on the elbows. Is he going for cover? I'm not sure what he's going for here. What's he thinking? Oh no. Cedric calling up Hideo. Alexander misses the forearm, and that's not a good sign. Oh, that's just insulting. The Arc 205 Live. Again, butterfly suplex. Uh, butterfly suplex. Speak the grit. Alexander sweeping the leg. And the Deo rolling to the outside. Adeo got two cocky, tried to go for two GTSs on Alexander, where one wouldn't have been enough. Back suplex. And now Cedric head first into the pole. Both of these superstars looking a little Strike blocked by Alexander. Atami with the agility and a knee and that could be all that she wrote here Hideo happy to win by Kano happy to book his place in the semi-finals of the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament but Cedric making his way back up will he make it up in time he does he walks right in. Oh no. I see what I done with his own time was hit now. Another go to sleep. I can't speak. I speak too fast. Think too many things at once. It comes out of a jumbled mess. But a day with time he hits that alternate version of go to sleep. And that's what finished off Lindsay Dorado. Will it finish off Cedric Alexander here? Alexander's got to be out for the count, surely. One, two, three. A day with Tommy. It took a pre-match attack and it took three go to sleeps. Hideo Tami continues on. 
That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary Dude, Tommy will face. That was just one of those matches that the men involved I'm trying to remember. Proud to be a part of. <laughs> Who a won the match before this? I don't remember. Chad Gable. It's only time we will face Chad Gable. Here is your winner. But he ain't done with Cedric Alexander. You should have known this was going to happen. They were annoyed that Cedric kicked out of uh, the first go to sleep and then reversed his plan. Uh, you, that was going to can't blame Hideo, but of course you can. There's no need for this. They are missing the they are missing the running knee. But again, it connects. Can he finish him off here? Will he finish him off? Oh, he's going for this one. He's not even going for the original goat sleep. Oh, right down on the knee. And Hideo with Tommy. How the hell does Alexander get out first from that? <laughs> Hideo with Tommy. Is victorious, he'll move on to the semi finals. Well, you guys have enjoyed episode 14 of my daughter Yusuke 19 Universe Mode. It's been 205 Live. I'll see you next time for some NXT UK.